because she's very helpful and supportive. Miss Weir, I love you because you give me really good education and I get to learn a lot of stuff from you. I love Miss Cantrell because she's so much fun and I love her attitude. She's always willing to help us with our tech. I'm so glad we have computers and without, uh, without her we wouldn't have that ability to have fun. Oh, Miss Katz is my favorite GT teacher because she does a lot of things up for us and she helps us and I really like doing the breakout boxes like you have to find clothes and stuff and one time there, we had to find a key and it was like it was literally hidden under the trash can. Go. Miss Lewis you're a great counselor because whenever someone wants to get off something out of their chest you are always there listening and it's really helpful instead of Parents not listening, you're always there to listen, no matter what. Miss Boswell, you're a great teacher because you let us explore things and give us room to do our own thing. I love being in a slam class because she always sees us as awesome math, and she never, uh, if we're having uh, stuck on a problem, she always waits for us to, um, she always asks us if we're having trouble, and then, um, then we move forward when everybody's caught up. And it's really I love you because you make us very, very happy. Miss Smith, you're a great teacher, and that's because you're very smart and you can. And you, you're not that like you're not one of those people who just lets people do whatever they want. You make them do their do their work and make sure they finish them. Yeah, work. Yeah. Go. Miss Log, um, you, you're a great teacher because you help me with math. Miss Griffith, you help me. Um, I love you, Miss Taco. I, you teach me how to eat. You teach me to do math. We love you. Miss Wagner, I love you because you teach us a lot of stuff and you're a nice teacher. Miss Apshay, you're a great PE teacher because you're, you make um, PE really fun and you're so nice. Hi, Ms. Pollard. I love being in your class because when we're always doing something, we always have a little fun with it and serious at the same time, and you're kind and nice to us every single day. Ms. Danny, I love you because you always pull me out. Even if I'm doing bad inside class or anywhere I go, you still care. And other people would have uh, probably gave up on me by the time right now, but you have, so that's why I love you. Sir, I love being in your class because um, because we get to do fun stuff. I love you, Miss Jackson, because you teach us a lot about math and reading. I love Miss Wetsy because um she's so nice and that she lets me go at Wobble, walk him down, and helps me grow bigger every day. And I love her so much, and that. Uh, I, I walk with her outside. I love Miss Strom because she's the best teacher and she does lots of things for me and she's the best. I love her. I love you Miss Cutting Camp because you're a, a nice, great teacher. Miss Hintz, I love learning. I love being in your class because you make learning. Hi Mr. Spencer, I love being in your class because you're very fun, nice, and you're very helpful and you're an amazing teacher. Nope. Go for it. Hey Coach D, uh, we love you because, well, you, you're always there for us when we're down. You make us feel better and uh, we've all, you have helped us getting stronger and you, you, get, you put spirit in us and we just want to thank you for being here and with Roberts. I love Miss McBride because she is really sweet and kind and when I am stuck on things and East, I, sh I just ask her and she helps me out. And I love you, um, Miss McBride. You're awesome. I love you, Miss Harden, because you have apples all over your room and you're nice. Miss Reed, I love you because you're sweet, nice, and you're an amazing teacher and you teach me, you've taught me so much this year. And I'll miss you when I'm in third grade. Miss Johnson, I love being in your class because you're smart, you're honest, and when we're doing our homework wrong, you help us 
and when we're outside, sometimes you play with us, and I just love being in your class. Miss Alba, I love you so much because you're nice, sweet, and I think you've taught me so much this year. Missy, I love you because you are gorgeous and beautiful, and I love your hair, and you are very nice, and you have been, and you have been the most wonderful teacher I could have asked for the for the year, and I love you, and I'm glad you're my teacher very much. Miss Snow, I love you because you teach a whole lot of math. Go. Hi, Miss Teddy, and you are a sweet teacher. I like being in Miss Boo Michael's class because she teaches us a lot of history, um, and it's not as much of like working like. It doesn't feel like working, it feels like you're just learning and having fun. Another reason I love Miss Moo Michael is because she um, uh, makes jokes. Um, she does, it's not all like worksheets and everything. Uh, she like has her own style and I really like it. And I love you because you do hard work for us. And Go. I love you because you teach us a lot of stuff that we'll never knew, and you're an amazing teacher. Miss Fireman, I love you because you're sweet, nice, and you're really and you're really fun, and you make things really fun, and you're an awesome teacher. Um, I love you, Miss Carter, because you always support us and take us under your wing. Miss McCasson, I love you because you're sweet, nice, and you teach us work that I would never learned before. Now you taught me so much. I love you because you're the best person in this whole school. I like Mercedes' dog because it's a have a shine. I like Mercedes because she lets us go play outside and eat lunch. Miss Shepard, I love you because whenever I was her, you always have me tight. So, I love you. Miss Skinner, I love you because I'm, I because you work so hard for us. Okay. Miss Hyde, I love you. I love being in Miss Sean's class because she is sweet and she um, teaches us a lot of things like um, graphs and um, cryptographs and all. And I've learned a lot this year, so I'm going to be able to get to the next grade and um, get to get to get a lot of chances for my education. Well, I love being in Miss Jenkins' class because she is so fun. She's so creative. It's just like her mind is bursting is with ideas that make our piece better, which makes all the viewers at the end happier. Loud. I love you, Miss Atkins, because you're so sweet and you help everybody learn. And that's really good because they, because they need a the light I love you, Miss Glover, because... Because you're the best teacher in the world. Go. I love you, Miss Steele, because you are a great teacher. And you teach us many things. Because my whole classroom, we love you. I love you, Miss Steele. Go. I love you, Miss Hackens, because you're nice. I love Miss Higden because she helped me read. I love being in Miss Custer's class because she's always nice and she, she never gives up teaching. Even when some people talk, she always just let, uh, she always just tells us to be quiet and we move along with it. She's just always a nice teacher in fifth grade. I really like Mr. Ritlow because he always, we can do lots of things other than just worksheets all the time. And it's funner to have a person that's not always so strict, really. I mean, he like he has discipline, but it's not really bad. Miss Levitt, we love you because you're kind. You help us with all the questions and quizzes. You can answer them. I love Miss Levitt because she's fun, she's nice, and she's pretty. Go for it. I love Miss Rika because she always has a strategy for everything, and she always pushes us forward to do the best we can. I love Miss Adams because she taught me so much throughout this year. She helps me with my math, my writing, and to be a good person. The, re the reason why I love Miss Maso is that she's always helping. She's always there to like care for us. Like we have problems, so she'll be the first one to come up to us and help us. She's always there for us, and that's why I love her. Go for it. I love being in Miss Thackeray's class because she always helps me with my work and 
always loves on me and tries to make me make me feel better when I'm crying or when I feel hurt and she's very kind and friendly. Go. I love being in Miss Burrell's class because we get the note we get the lengthy meaning of music and like what sounds of the meaning like the meaning of the sounds and we just get the experience of music. Go ahead. I like art because Miss Slider has a bunch of different singers and it's cool to see how like one art piece can be in drawing and another can be in collage and then she also um, lets us come in during um, our recess and she lets us help out with like first grade and kindergarten and it's just fun to do that and kind of see what how first grade and kindergarten interprets what she says to do and things like that. Yeah. Miss Hunt, you're so nice. I love you. Teachers, happy Teacher Appreciation Week. We are so grateful uh, for the sacrifices that you make. You have chosen a profession uh, that you truly, on a daily basis, sacrifice for yourself for the betterment of others. And so, um, congratulations on a job well done this year. Uh, congratulations on impacting kids' lives. Continue to strive to make a difference. Um, you deserve every bit of praise that you will receive over the next couple days and weeks. And we just are grateful that you're a part of our Roberts family and look forward to continued success because of all the work that you do. Thank you. Teacher Specialist, Happy Teachers Appreciation Day. You all, we could not do this job without you. We tremendously thank you for your hard work, your dedication, and you give 110% um, each day. I learn from you all and hope um, us as leaders, we inspire you, we motivate you, and we just could not, again, we couldn't get uh, do this job without you. Thank you so much. Enjoy your week. You all are awesome. Thank you. Hi teachers, what can I say to a group of people who mean so very much to me and to the students that you serve every day? You have chosen a profession that will never pay you enough money, but one that will reap rewards for you for the rest of your life. You may never know the impact you've made in a child's life, but I guarantee you there are children who will give you credit for what they become and the things they do to change the world. I wish I could pay you what you're worth. I wish I could say thank you a million times over that would really, really make a difference in your lives. But all I can tell you is that I love you each one dearly for what you do for kids every day. Your commitment, your dedication, the hours you put into this job. My, my, what can I say? What could we ever do to thank you enough for everything you do every day? Nothing, just know that Roberts Elementary is what it is today because of you. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! We love you!